and welcome to Morse's Math Morsels with yet another fun little problem. This one states, choose 93 consecutive whole numbers, for example, 4, 5, and 6. Multiply these, for example, 4 times 5 times 6 yields 120. Finally, add the middle number. The result is a cube, third power of the middle number. Demonstrate why. Let's fix this little L in the middle. Oh, what does that all mean? Well, consecutive just means one following right after another. For example, the four, five, six, and the whole numbers are the familiar counting numbers uh, we all use, starting at uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. So in this example, if I add the five, four times the five times the six, let's see, is 120. And then add the middle number of that group, which is five. The result is a cube, or a third power of that middle number. Well, I'm claiming 125 equals 5 cubed, or 5 to the third power, is all a cube means. Number disappears in a multiplication three times. And the third power just means we have the three fives multiplied together. Does this always work though? Well, let's check and see. Make a little more room in this whiteboard. I'm going to choose some smaller whole numbers. I'm going to choose 2 times 3 times 4. That product is 24. Then add that middle number plus the 3 is 27. And claiming that's the cube of that middle number. Uh, seems to work again. I'm going to try it once, once more. This time with some slightly larger whole numbers. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, 9 times 10 times 11. That's a pretty easy one. 9 times 10 is 90. 90 times 11 is 990. And what do I add? Yep, that middle number 10. And I get what is probably a familiar cubic number, 1,000, which is uh, the 10 times 10 times 10. Well, that seems to always work. So I'm going to do a little algebra using some uh, symbols, my favorite letter of X, to see if that really is true. So I just need to do a little erasing. I'll walk up to the camera and get my trusty eraser disguised as a paper towel. Okay, it works for some whole numbers. I'm going to let uh, x equal the middle number. The middle of those three consecutive integers. We're calling them whole numbers. I'm just using positive whole numbers. Well, if x is the middle number, in this case 5, we have numbers on each side of it. Since these are consecutive, the first number will be 1 less than the middle number. Oh, x minus 1 equals that first number in our triple of consecutive whole numbers. And finally, that last number, well, in this example, a 6 is 1 more than 5, it is next in the consecutive whole numbers. That will be an x plus 1 equals that last number of our three consecutive whole numbers. We'll move to the side again. Find the product. Product just a result of multiplication. We have an x uh, times an x minus 1 times an x plus 1. I'm going to do these two first. As I'm noticing, now we have an x minus 1 and times an x plus 1, and some of you will be familiar with that as a difference of squares. I'm going to have an x times uh, their product x squared minus 1, 
finally multiply uh, each of these by the x, distributing. I won't need the parentheses any longer. x times x squared, log of exponents, gives x cubed. x times uh, that minus 1 just be minus x. So there's our product of these three consecutive whole numbers. The middle number, the first number, the last number. Just arrange it a little differently in the equation. x cubed minus x, and then add the middle number, which is our original x, in that case 5, or adding a negative x to a plus x. And voila, we're just left with x cubed. The negative x added to the positive x, uh, they tend to cancel. And there's our cube of our middle number. And as some mathematicians like to write, uh, QED, quid erat demonstratum. Thanks for viewing.